Hi, I'm Courtney, and today I want to show you an exercise called plate balancing. It involves moving the arms in a flowing figure eight motion and can help open the energy channels of the body, even strengthen the lower back and core. Let's do it together. Plant your right foot forward and bend your knees slightly. Your stance should feel comfortable, balanced, and natural. Imagine balancing a plate on the palm of your right hand at elbow height. Rest the back of your left hand against your lower back. While leaning your upper body forward, pull your right hand in towards your body in a counterclockwise circle, pivoting around your elbow until your arm is straight out to the side and twisted so that your palm is still facing upward. Then continue the circle with your elbow straight until your arm is extended out in front of you. Begin the second circle of the figure eight by moving your arm clockwise over your head as you extend your upper back as far as you can. Bend your elbow as much as you need in order to keep your palm facing upward. As your hand passes behind you, it comes back to its original position in front of you. Then repeat. Let the hand come in towards your navel, out to the side, back, and bend your elbow to come back and around. If you have trouble balancing, don't lean too far back or forward, and make sure your knees stay a little bent. If this is new to you, your shoulders may be the first to feel the impact. Make sure you're mindful to relax your shoulders as you move and feel free to make this movement a little smaller if you need to. If you have arthritis, you should perform this exercise very slowly and practice in short increments. Rotational movements may help alleviate symptoms by opening energy blockages and restoring blood flow, but it's important that we don't force stiff or painful joints in a way that causes strain. So take a break when you need to. According to Eastern medicine, 12 major meridians or energy channels flow through the body and govern the internal organs. Six of these pathways go from the torso through the arms and the other six extend from the torso through the legs. One of the reasons plate balancing is so effective without straining the body is that it opens up these meridians and six major joints to promote circulation of blood and energy. Along the pathways where these 12 meridians flow are about 365 acupressure points that act as stations where energy collects or goes in and out of the body. These are concentrated around six major joints, the wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles. It's easy for energy to stagnate at these points, and stiff joints may make your body more susceptible to infection and make you feel both heavy and lethargic. Repeatedly rotating and moving the joints for plate balancing is wonderfully effective at forcing out the congested energy, helping to loosen the joints and the surrounding muscles. Not only do the circular arm motions of plate balancing stimulate the meridians through the arms, but the repetitive bending of the knees and rotation of the waist stimulate the meridians of the legs, promoting blood and energy circulation throughout the body. Let's try the other side. Bring your left foot forward and left palm up, resting the back of your right hand on your lower back. While leaning your upper body forward, pull your right hand in towards your body, pivoting under the elbow until your arm is straight out to the side. Then continue the circle until your arm is extended out in front of you. Bend your elbow and move your arm clockwise over your head as you extend your upper back as far as you can. Remember to bend your elbow as much as you need in order to keep your palm facing upward and to not strain your shoulder. As your hand passes behind you, it comes back to its original position in front of you. Repetition of this simple arm movement can help release tension from the shoulders and arms, but it's even more effective if you know how to feel energy. Sometimes called ki, energy refers to the life force within everything. 
and can be felt through subtle sensations and vibrations and amplified through visualization. Slowly keep flowing through the figure eight motion, being careful not to scatter or disperse the weighted feeling of energy on your palm. Here is a way you can practice. Focus your mind on your upward facing palm and imagine that a heavy pillar of energy is coming down towards your hand. Imagine that energy coming in through your palm flows along your arm, through your elbow, shoulder, and torso, and is connected through your leg all the way down to the bottom of your foot, forming an energy line on that side of your body. As you relax, the motion may take on its own tempo and become more dynamic. The circle over your head may naturally slow and your arm may come down more quickly. When the movement alternates between fast and slow, the overall motion picks up momentum, creating the effect of a vortex of energy. When you practice plate balancing in a relaxed state of concentration, you can feel energy circulating in a powerful way. Now, let's try both arms together. If balance is challenging, you can keep your stance wide but if possible, bring your feet together. With your palms facing upward, bend your upper body forward, bringing your hips back and using your core strength to keep your balance. Straighten your knees as much as you can, as this will provide more benefit to your back and legs. But if balance is challenging, or if you have some lower back pain, feel free to bend them a little. As you bend forward, Slowly pull your hands in towards your body and pivot them around the elbow until your arms are out to the side. Then, with your palms facing upwards, extend your arms out in front of you. Raise your upper body, crossing your arms in front of you, and gently lean your body backward, making a circle with each hand as big as you can. Then bring your hands back to their original position and repeat. Coming in towards the navel, under the arm and out to the side, bringing your arms forward, letting them cross, lift up your upper body and open your chest as you circle your arms back to their original position. The more you practice plate balancing exercise, the more you'll be able to feel its effectiveness for strengthening the lower back, lower belly and hip joints. When you make large arm movements above your head, the pressure on your lower belly is increased through the process of maintaining your balance. Especially with both hands, repeatedly bending your upper body forward, then leaning backward, can help improve lower back flexibility and increase lower back strength. Muscle elasticity may even increase through the repetition of these slow, low intensity movements. Once you've gotten a good grasp on the movement, you can combine the movement with your breathing. Breathing in as you're moving your arms up and circling your head, and breathing out as you bring your arms down. When you lean your upper body back, your rib cage and abdominal area expand and stretch. Breathe as deeply as you can into that space, and you'll feel your breath going into your chest and lungs all the way to your lower belly. Continue exhaling, as you make the lower circle and bend your upper body forward. You'll be able to feel fresh air being drawn into your body as stagnant air is expelled. When your chest feels refreshed, your body will feel lighter. If you're feeling up for it, you can reverse this movement. Moving our bodies in different ways than we're used to provides fresh stimulation for our brain. This helps improve our ability to move our bodies with intention. If this exercise is new to you, I recommend starting with a set of 10 on each arm and 10 with both arms. Take your physical condition into consideration before doing more and add just one set at a time. Doing too many at the start could overexert your shoulders. But as your flexibility improves, you can do up to 30 or even 50 repetitions each side. But stick to a number that doesn't overextend your body in the beginning. 
I hope you enjoyed doing blade balancing exercise with me today. And stay tuned to Body and Brain TV.